Welcome guys to a brand new video on Black Clover Mobile. So we do have ourselves a new update with the new characters. So season 3 is officially out in the game. So what I wanted to do in today's video is go over whether or not you guys should be summoning on the banner. Now short answer is straight up no. The characters are decent the, uh, but the character you really want you can just select for free and in the future we will get more characters coming out you guys can probably save for any future fest uh not festival characters limited characters um just like black astar maybe farno as well so honestly the answer to this question is a easy skip but let's go ahead and take a look at each of the characters and um you know go over whether or not it's still worth summoning for for some of the characters or where certain characters are good in so hopefully you guys like this video stay tuned for more content on um, black clover mobile if you guys don't want to miss out on future content on the game make sure that post notification is on and if you guys find this video helpful and overall useful then hey go ahead and like uh, the video show your support and let's get right into it so the first character we're going to be taking a look at is going to be this Fagolion over here now i why is it lagging i think maybe my phone ain't good enough anymore damn samsung uh, 21 ain't, ain't looking that good anyways um figoleon is a character that honestly is only really good in pvp now let's take a look at a couple of his skills uh increased damage taken i think he's a burn character isn't it yeah so this is his first skill over here so launches several small bullets um uh dealing damage basically inflicting continuous damage to an enemy for two turns um yikes not really that strong um second skill over here inflict continuous burn damage to an enemy for two turns attack after removing an enemy's barrier if they are taking continuous burn damage um is this an aoe ability let me quickly check i need to go over to uh, uh pride room qu real quick because sometimes they don't tell you if this is an aoe in the in this over here which absolutely sucks so um figolion there we go so his second skill is a single target ability okay so this is a barrier removal which is actually pretty good one thing to note guys i keep saying this but barrier is insanely broken and will get more broken as more characters come out especially when season five technically when she comes out in global in season she's season six in krjp and that's charlotte again but um, when that character comes out, once again, the barriers just become even more toxic in PvP. So in general, barriers are very, very disgusting and annoying in PvP. So having a character that can remove barriers is what? Insanely helpful. So this is a single target barrier removal, which is actually pretty good. Now going over to his special skill, uh, this is an AoE barrier removal skill, which is actually pretty good. So wait, uh, based on the instance of continuous damage, Increased damage. Yep, yep, yep. Removes burn from an attack after removing an enemy's barrier. Okay, so this is a guaranteed removal of barrier. So currently, right now, the meta is using the um, Noel, the season two Noel, as well as uh, what's his face, Radius, with the shield, and that essentially is absolutely meta right now. So if you want to counter that, technically, you can go ahead and use for Gorion make sure his speed is good how how what is his speed i can't really see his speed stat which is annoying um okay if you try and build him with speed to uh to make sure that you can remove the barriers as fast as possible actually no you don't really need to build him with speed wait for noel to use a barrier wait for uh radius to use his barrier and then use your fagolion to just remove it uh then again you still have to run barrier on your own team but that's fine um, this is actually going to be pretty good if you want to remove barrier and you have Julius as well um, So you have your single target damage over there But that AoE as well from his second skill is going to be pretty useful So in general, I think Fergolion is actually a pretty good character in PvP I wouldn't say he's absolutely meta even though I think barrier removal is amazing But essentially most of his other skills are not that good now continuous damage right now is just not great in pvp because essentially you have characters that just nuke so nuking is 10 times better than just stacking up damage over periods of time so essentially this is uh, not as good as it sounds besides the only really good thing i like is the barrier removal and the increased damage taken and then he also has increased damage over here but honestly not really that strong and his first one over here is enhanced passive increased damage dealt yeah that's another burn mechanic 
grants immortality for one turn uh, upon having less than 30% HP. That's actually pretty good for PvP. But I wouldn't say he's like the top tier best PvP character. But he is actually pretty useful in PvP, especially if you have characters that have a lot of barrier. Now, the character that everyone needs to go ahead and get is basically this Charlotte over here. This Charlotte is the best character um, out of the three units. And honestly, just go ahead and get her. It would help your account and you don't even need to summon like i mentioned multiple times now she's good in both pve and pvp content so taking a look at her skill one grants a counter attack now if you guys are smart you guys should already know why this is essentially amazing in pvp if you give a counter attack to a weak da damage dealers this is just essentially going to be absolutely amazing um even to julius as well to multiple characters as well this is just essentially amazing counter attack is very very nice um, so grants counter attack to the ally with the highest all attack for one turn. It's only to one enemy, um, one unit, sorry, one ally. Going over to her second skill, increase all attack. Now, not many character in this game has all attack buff. Um, I think the only one that does this so far um, is uh, the Ghosh, season two Ghosh. I'm pretty sure there's other like SR characters maybe that do this, but all attack buff, I think Ghosh is the only one I know of so far that can do that. So the fact that she can also do that is actually pretty good for our buffing capability. I'm guessing in the future as we get more raid, she actually will keep being um, very, very useful, especially when you have a when you want a buffer like her, increasing both attack and magical attack. Um, so this is actually quite good. And then going over to her last skill, um, so sorry, her special skill grants all allies a 60% chance to counter attack. Now this essentially is amazing in PvP. So you use her um, use her ultimate or special skill, sorry, give all your characters counter attack. Um, and this is just essentially going to help you guys out a lot. And then going over to her combination attack, reduce damage taken, grants all allies a 12% damage taken. Um, buff reduce damage taken buff for two turns absolutely amazing in pvp um going over to the first passive over here grants sp plus one upon taking damage yo this this is amazing uh enhancement level two this is when you get uh two dupes into her but it's actually pretty good um yeah this is actually pretty nice um going over to this passive over here when you get her to lr if all allies have the technique attribute when the battle starts it flinks inflicts silence on all enemies for one turn technique characters are basically being countered with this skill now technique if i remember currently is the blue types so if all your characters are blue types this will essentially allow you to inflict silence to enemies um, and that silence is going to be essentially amazing 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 in pvp so if you guys are looking for some good teams that you can run with i will have a video on that for pvp uh, she is definitely the most viable character to select now off my head julius lotus mars and her very very good team or you can use charmy her mars julius wait that's charmy mars julius that's free character and then her yeah you can do that or definitely lotus um maybe lotus mars charmy and her just having counter attack just to help you out i guess a very very tanky team maybe um if you guys have the normal fauna i guess you could use that as well um kaito i guess as well um but yeah that that is it so she's very very strong guys definitely don't slip out on her definitely get her and then the last character we have jack who is not that great guys honestly um what he does is uh what does he do again i've forgotten so skill one over here inflicts bleed and stun stun is 50 percent chance to uh, stun which uh yikes um what's his face is better mars is better for stunning than him uh bleeding like i said dot damage isn't the greatest right now uh, miscalculation it's a unique ability but you don't need to worry about that so increase penetration and increase acc that's actually quite decent actually um but this is to himself only so that's kind of selfish um going over to his special skill stun and extra attack um and then extra attack and barrier removal on his combination attack which uh is one uh, one opponent so overall it's actually quite average i wouldn't say he's bad but he's just an average character um not the worst character in the game but honestly he ain't that good um the pvp is where i think he would probably be, be good in because of that barrier removal um stunning as well is actually pretty useful um nope not this one let's see grants 20 percent increased mobility buff upon taking damage that's actually quite nice as well for pvp um 
yeah guys you don't really need to get this character so you know what i will not be summoning i might be tempted to honestly because i haven't summoned in a while but honestly to be smart guys just just go ahead and select her that's what i'm gonna be doing um there we go i'm not gonna be summoning i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna have this character she's pretty good in both pve and pvp so should you guys be summoning hell no you guys can skip um and then wait for like season season four when that comes out that's actually going to be pretty good season four is going to be the um halloween characters but i believe they changed the names to like uh uh party or costume they call it costume so that character is going to be um, noelle uh charmy and the last i think that's it actually noelle and charmy maybe there's one other character but i think it's noelle and charmy that that's pretty much all i remember from the next batch of characters uh is magnum part of it no i think that's it halloween halloween yeah i think that's pretty much it and uh for the character you're going to be aiming for i guess noelle is your answer um yeah anyways stay tuned for that video when i go over future uh you know seasonal characters you want to go ahead and get hopefully you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more content of black clover mobile it's me your boy ac gamer and i'm out